inbound next month, huge near-Earth asteroid, twice as big as the Great Pyramids of Giza, is being tracked by NASA. And the astronomers are saying that this huge asteroid, twice as big as the Great Pyramid, is expected to come into contact with Earth's orbit next month. The space rock has been classified as a near-Earth object, NEO, by the organization. That is, that any comet or asteroid, any celestial body within 1.2 astronomical units from the Sun, fits into this category, meaning it will not harm human life. Now, according to reports, the size of the asteroid is believed to be between 394 feet and 886 feet tall, that's 120 meters by 270. The size of this gigantic rock is almost twice as big as the Egyptian pyramid, the Great Pyramid of Giza. The asteroid will be passing Earth at around 8 a.m. EST on September 6th, so it's just in about six days. Now, according to NASA, an NEO is a term used to describe comets and asteroids that have been nudged by the gravitational attraction of nearby planets into orbits that allow them to enter Earth's neighborhood. In relation to NEOs, as they orbit the Sun, NEOs can occasionally approach close to Earth. Note that a close approach astronomically can be very far in human terms. That could be millions or even tens of millions of miles. In this particular case, NASA ruled out any probability of impact with Earth and does not expect this to change, so it will not impact us. But, however, processes by which asteroids and comets can be shifted from their orbits towards us, there are those things that, such as the Yarkovsky effect, because of the sun's rays uh, creating a heat differential on the surface of the celestial body that can cause it to tumble on its axis and change its trajectory. Now, NASA said, occasionally asteroids' orbits, orbital paths are influenced by the gravitational tug of planets, which also can cause their paths to alter. Scientists believe stray asteroids or fragments from earlier collisions have slammed into Earth in the past, playing major roles in the evolution of our planet. We have a lot of scars from comet and asteroid impacts on Earth, not only on Earth, but also on Mars and on the Moon. Now, a force known as the Yarkovsky effect, as I explained to you above, can also cause an asteroid to veer off course. The effect occurs when the space rock is heated in direct sunlight and cools down to release radiation from the surface. NASA said this radiation exerts a force on the asteroid, acting as if it's a sort of a mini thruster that can slowly change the asteroid's direction over time. There's also the possibility of asteroids or fragment asteroids being redirected towards us after colliding with other space rocks. According to Deborah Bird, founder of Earth Sky, one such collision could have resulted in the death of the dinosaurs about 65 million years ago. She said one fragment of that ancient smash-up might have struck Earth 65 million years ago, triggering a mass extinction that wiped out the dinosaurs, according to astronomers. Now, the asteroids listed on NASA's database of Earth close approaches are deemed safe, and NASA's tracking systems have ruled out all possibility of danger. And NASA said because of the ongoing search efforts to find nearby, nearly all the large NEOs, objects will occasionally be found to be on very close Earth approach trajectories. Great care must be taken, she says, to take uh, to take and to verify any Earth collision predictions that are made. And given the extremely unlikely nature of such a collision, Almost all of these predictions will turn out to be false alarms, but if an object is verified to be on an Earth colliding trajectory, it seems likely that this collision possibility will be known several years prior to the actual event, she said. Now, astronomers are believed to be currently tracking nearly 2,000 asteroids, comets, and other objects. So this one will be coming in on September 6th. This is by Stephen Brown on Express UK. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse 
and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.